Jessica Martinez, Elite FTS athlete. Julia Ledeski, Elite FTS coach. I qualified for the Arnold uh, in December for the Lexing meet. I totaled 8.65, I believe. Had a week off and then started immediately a uh, 12-week training for the Arnold. I was planning on 900 total. Didn't happen today, but that's okay. Um, you live another day. So leading up to the meet, it, it was a lot of uh, technical changes that I did to my training. Um, other than that, it wasn't that drastic or that much of a difference from my previous ones. So with my squat uh, specifically, I went from a high bar to a low bar. That transition was very, very difficult. I think for a month I couldn't, I couldn't squat over 135. That's when I started getting comfortable with it and the Lex and me, I did a, a big PR with squat. Um, I ended up doing like a 15 or 20 pound PR on my squat, kept practicing and did a 30 pound PR today. I ended up squatting 360 today. Um, I opened up with 315. Um, did not feel comfortable getting under the bar uh, the whole time. I don't know, it was because of the rack height, it's because of my foot placement, because my hips weren't going under the bar. Um, but each attempt felt not smooth, but it was nice that I was, be, I was able to grind through it each time. So um, my attempts were 315, 330, and 360. With my bench, I guess training with Casey, you kind of pick up on what your coach is doing. So my bench kind of changed without even me noticing. Um, I started putting my feet out on my setup rather than tucking, and that's what I'm used to. Um, that was something I learned that I was doing different just a couple weeks ago. So I knew coming into this meet, my bench was gonna go really as planned. So I was just happy to get with what I got today. So I opened up with 145, something I could do on a bad day. Second attempt was 165. Again, can do it in a bad day. Um, jumped to 175, I didn't wanna get a PR and risk a total or anything like that, but um, my butt ended up getting up from the bench. So um, that's just something, technique error, and it's kind of stupid, but you're kind of not aware of your, like, your setup, I guess, like when you're under adrenaline. And with deadlift, that has been a mental struggle. I opened up with 300, again, something I could do on a bad day. Um, next attempt was 340. Felt great, um, misgrooved a bit uh, coming off the floor. My setup, as far as like where my hip is, um, was too high. Um, and I was doing more lower back than actual hamstring and glute work. Um, 375 was my, sec my third attempt to get a 900 total, which was my ultimate goal. Um, <laughs> and I ended up pissing myself. <laughs> and it made it very, very uncomfortable to pull. So it was just, uh, disaster in and of itself. So I ended up not getting that pool. Um, I think I ended up with 865, the same total I got the Lex and meet. Um, again, things happen. Um, things unex unexpected things happen. So like I, get, like I said, um, you live another day, you have another meet, you just continue working hard. My prep leading into this meet was a little, a little tricky as well. Um, I had done a couple shows in October, physique shows in October and November. Um, and from June until then, I didn't squat. I benched maybe a handful of times and I didn't deadlift at all. So taking the time off of those three lifts and then um, finally got a bar on my back and a bar in my hands in December. Um, so I had to kind of, even though my technique was still there, I still had to get a feel for it again. I still had to find my groove again. And then January really started prep again. And it was, I felt like it was a short prep, but um, we did the best we could and I thought we did a great job of getting me ready in that short amount of time. Squat felt super comfortable, bench was about where I needed to be and um, I also really didn't do a lot of pulling, a lot of deadlifting this, this cycle, which was a little bit different from the past, um, but it, it served me well. Um, deadlifting at 10 o'clock at night is tough no matter what, so um, ended up with a I believe it was about a 30 pound PR total, so can't really complain about that.
Coming into this meet, we, we had some numbers planned. Um, my coach and I, Scott, um, had some numbers planned um, based on my last raw meet last year and then some things that we wanted to hit. So um, opened with 280 on the squat. Um, felt super great, super fast. Uh, hit 305 on a second, which was a five pound PR from last year. So that was good. Um, Dave came up to me after that and, and wanted me to jump like 30 pounds and I immediately said no. And he's like, okay, well that's a good sign. Like your reaction tells me that that's not something that you're comfortable with. And I said, absolutely not. He said, good. He goes, then go with what you were originally planning, which was only a 10 pound jump to 315. But um, for me, it was something I needed to get that number kind of off my back and get it done, get it in a meet legit and just be done with it. So um, I ended up smoking it on a third, but it, Sometimes that's a good thing to walk away on the platform with, like knowing that you have some in the tank. So I was super happy with squat. Um, bench was, again, was something that was kind of went as expected. Um, open with 175, something that I can hit on, on a bad day. Wanted to take some small jumps, hit 185 on a second, which was, has been, it's hit or miss as far as it being smooth and it being a little bit of miss grooved um, in my training. I knew I could get it even if I misgrooved it. I misgrooved it a hair but still fought it up um, and then decided to just take a super small jump on a third to 190, hope for, hope for a, a five pound PR and um, almost recovered it but not quite. Misgrooved it enough to just miss it. So, um, so tied my PR 185 on bench. Um, still ahead on total at that point so that was good. Um, deadlifts we opened. Um, which was again was interesting as I mentioned before we didn't really um, deadlift a lot this training cycle um, it's late we're tired we're exhausted so warm-ups felt a little heavier than I would have liked um, but took 335 on an opener which was nice jumped to 360 on a second which was a bit of a grinder but it was a 10 pound PR so I really couldn't complain at that point talked it over with some of my teammates tried to make some you know take some cues that they had and took a small jump to 370 and just didn't have any gas left at that point. Um, it was close. If I could have broke it off the floor about an inch, I know I could have locked it out and fought through it, but just wasn't happening at, at this time of the day. So ended up with a, now that I calculated out, a 25 pound PR total. Um, second raw meat like ever in my life so <laughs> like ever after being 15 years of geared so can't complain I have to give a huge thank you to Christian Anto today he uh, he stuck around um, it was a bit unexpected I had some other people scheduled to handle me which was fine and Christian just stepped up like a, a, a good teammate does so um, he wrapped my knees he handed out to me he was there for my deadlifts um, so huge Thank you to Christian. Casey was there. Dave was there. Obviously, Yes was there, um, kind of all helping me out. And um, so that was uh, super important to me to have my teammates behind me. Um, I have to give a huge thank you to uh, my coach, Scott Paltos, who's been working with me for the last couple of years. Um, being able to switch back and forth between the two sports um, is, is tricky, but he does a good job of adjusting and keeping me on track and technically being there. And um, he's, uh, he's been a lifesaver um, as well as far as coaching me and keeping me alive. So thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Big thank you to um, Jody and Jabez. Um, They've been there the whole training cycle. They've helped with technique, with handling, with support. I mean, they're, they've seriously become uh, one of our best friends. Um, big thank you to, I guess it would be Christian, because he's helped along the way as well. Um, Julie, obviously, with support and making me laugh through it all. <laughs> um, definitely Casey, obviously. Um, he's He's been a huge support. And, I don't know why I'm crying because <laughs> today he had to back out of the, out of the meet um, and I just felt really bad and I felt his hurt about it. Um, he's worked so hard this training cycle. So for him to back out of that, I know it takes guts. So I have a lot more respect for him for doing it. Um, he's going through a, a tough time and I'm just really, really proud of him. And so um, I wanna give him 
a big thank you. He's, he's my everything for real. So um, that's about it. And thank you, Dave, obviously, and you guys for being here and capturing all this. Um, it really, it really, um, we appreciate it is what I'm saying. So um, thanks to lead up to us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.